Hey family, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning family member, thank you. We're having fun today. Remember to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that fun stuff. Go check me out on Instagram. The link is below. Go follow me over there. Fun stuff. Remember, there's a giveaway on this channel. If you're interested in that, stay till the end of the video. I'll talk about it more at the end. And getting closer to it, you know, every single day we're getting a little bit closer, so I'm excited. And uh, it's fun. Okay, so let's get into this video. The market goes up. Guys, remember, this is not financial advice. This is just for educational and entertainment purposes. So, I do recommend going to see a financial advisor for more information and uh, I just want to help you guys get educated, entertain you, make you smile, help you get better as a person, help you get more educated and all that fun stuff. So, it's going to be a fun video. Let's get into it. So, we're going to put this little graphic up on the screen right now and we're going to go over it today. It's going to be awesome because it's a really important graphic. So, the top of it says the market goes up. I saw this uh, floating around so I thought it was a pretty good um, frame of reference. So now the first thing it says, we're gonna read it first, we're gonna, we're gonna look over the chart, we're gonna talk about it, you know, all that fun stuff. It says $1,000 invested 100 years ago in the United States, the US stock market is worth over $29 million today. That's a compound annual growth rate of over 10.8% over 100 years. Wow, okay, let's just step back for a second. Wow, wow. Right, so we're gonna go over it a little bit. So $1,000, 100 years ago, obviously none of us were alive yet. It's crazy, my, my grandpa actually uh, lived to 100 and he passed away recently and um, he could have done this, it's crazy, but you know. So yeah, 100 years ago. US stock market, uh, it would be worth over 29 million. Compound annual growth rate. Now what's that? It's just the percentage that the stock market goes up on average a year over a long period of time. It says it is 10.8%, which is pretty accurate. It's probably more, it's probably like 11, but on a conservative 10.8, you know, if you're, if you're investing well and you learn how to invest. Now, first of all, okay, it's very over overwhelming to look at this chart. It's a very cool chart. It's a very exciting chart. It gives us a lot of hope for the future. Now, wouldn't it be so cool to just be able to go back, put $1,000, which obviously $1,000 is a lot of money. We put $1,000 in the stock market and then we'd be rich today, right? Woohoo! If it was only that easy. But, but, like I said, it shows that if you invest over time, and this is not even investing over time, it's just putting $1,000 in there. You can build wealth. I have millions of dollars. It's cool. So let's go over this chart. Now, we have $1,000 we're starting at. Now there's a cool little red line you know, I've seen these lines of statistics as I've taken these classes, and it's basically, basically a marker for saying like it's going up on a linear, um, you know, track. We can say that. So we're starting at one thousand dollars. So back in 1921, right? 1921 is when you would have had to invest thousand dollars to get to 29, 29 million today, right? So we got, we're going up. Woo! We're going up. We're going up. We're going up. And then we go down. Now. The first one, we have the first big financial situation, the Great Depression. You know, we've all heard a little bit about that, you know, when everything, when I think, I, from my understanding, basically what happened was they, they had too much, uh, they were shorting the stocks and basically saying they had debt on the stocks, so using borrowed money to invest. And then once the stocks went belly up, they didn't have the money to actually pay their debtors and then a lot of people got in trouble and then you know food was scarce and it was a bad bad time wow so it lasted from 1929 to 1939 so obviously a long time that was the first one now from the 1940s 1950s it's going up woohoo now we got the we got another little arrow could we got another little arrow consistent 10 percent return as we see then we keep going up we keep going up we keep going up then we have 2007 financial crash Wow, now remember, you know, a lot of us were young or, you know, a lot of people went through this, our parents, uh, the younger generation didn't have to deal with it, but, you know, in 2007, you know, we had the housing crash and the stock market crash and, you know, everything was plummeting and we're all gonna, the end of the world was upon us again, right? So, yeah, that, that happened and um, it, was, it was crazy and a lot of the houses were shorted 
And basically what was happening there was a lot of people were getting loans that they shouldn't have got and they didn't have any money, they didn't have any credit, they didn't have anything and they were just lying about their income and lying about how much money they had and banks were just giving money out left and right and then everything kind of went crashing down as we all know, unfortunately. But it did recover, it did take a couple, like a year or two, you know, and maybe a little bit more than that, but you know, a couple years and you know, financial crisis, it, 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 we went through it. You know, I was I was alive, but I wasn't that. Young. I was like 12, 14. I wasn't very old at all. So I was 14 in 2007. So I, you know, I was I was a teenager, and um, I didn't know much. But yeah, so that was going on in 2007. And then the next 10 years were great. You know, 2017, 2018, 2019, life's good. And then the good old 2020 COVID crash came, and then that was uh, a little spike in the stock market as well. And then that came back, and again, it was like under 100 days or something. So we went from the financial crash, and then keep going up, and then we went to that next crash that we had last year in 2020. I'm not going to talk about it too much, but you know what happened, and it did recover, right? So we went through the whole chart. Now let's just talk about the chart as a whole. The point of this chart is that it's going to go up no matter what, as we've seen. A lot of people freak out, a lot of people sell, a lot of people get out of the market, right? which is not good, it's very dangerous because that's how you lose money. Remember guys, you only lose money when you lock it in your losses and sell. So let's do an example. So you have $10, you buy a stock for $10, we're gonna do a small example, and it goes down to $5. You didn't lose that $5 because you didn't sell yet. But the moment you actually sell, you realize your losses. Because what happens if that $5 goes to $12? Then you made money all of a sudden. But it's because you have to be patient. Just remember, don't sell when it's down. Don't sell when it's up. Just, just keep, just hold, just invest, just steady. Slow and steady wins the race, ladies and gentlemen. Slow and steady wins the race, okay? So, let's go back to the chart. So basically, the consistent return is 10%. So if you invest it over the next 30, 40 years of your life, you know, that's how long, you know, we have to invest. If you know you're in your 20s or your 30s, you know, 30 years. You know, so, so if you're young, young, like 20s, 40 years until you're 60, the opportunity for 10% over a long period of time is most definitely there. And this chart really gives us hope for the future because there's a lot of money to be made in the stock market and you can just keep investing and you can build wealth through the stock market uh, if you just stay in it for the long term. A lot of people think short term, you know, think 100 years from now, think about your kids, your kids' kids leaving them a legacy the last two years or five years or ten years think about the last hundred years this shows the last hundred years and it's only gonna go up you know it's down up it's a roller coaster you never get hurt on a roller coaster unless you literally jump off just don't jump off the roller coaster the stock market is a roller coaster you just ride the wave ride the wave ride the wave you know and uh, Warren Buffett has a great uh, quote you know when the tide goes out you can see who's skinny dipping right and, yeah, that's very true, especially like in a lot of different things in life. And I just like that quote. But yeah, guys, you know, just slow and steady wins the race. You keep investing every month, every month, no matter what. You know, if the whole U.S. economy collapses and the stock market's gone, right? Then we have way bigger problems than just the stock market's gone or your money's gone. You have, you know, you gotta be fighting for food and there's gonna be war going out, right? Like, you know, the U.S. is a good, stable economy that's gonna last for a long time and you can get in, ride the wave, and become successful in the stock market. Anybody can do it. All right guys, so now the fun stuff. Remember, there's a $100 Visa gift card giveaway on this channel. Remember to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that fun stuff for me. I very much appreciate you guys, and uh, let's grow the family. You know, I'm gonna keep going. You know, a thousand videos is the goal, so let's, let's, let's hustle, let's grind, you know, let's make everyone better, let's make them more comfortable. You know, I'm having fun, we're gonna have other guests, we're gonna have lots of stuff. We have the dog come back, you know, lots of cool stuff coming, guys. I'm really excited. You know, we're just gonna keep on this grind, you know, you know. And now that college is uh, over till August for me, you know, I'm, go I'm going to my last year and all that fun stuff. So I have more time to film and uh, work on my my uh, my creativity and my YouTube channel and just you know keep going. So it's fun. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Remember to continually work to become the best version of yourself, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.